Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our broadcast. We're coming to you live here at the Second Friendship Missionary Baptist Church. By now, you already know who I am. And I want to say happy Resurrection Sunday to you. This is a great day to praise the Lord on this day. And uh, Jesus rose from the dead over 2,000 some odd years ago. And he died for our sins. And you ought to be glad about that. If you're, if you're here on watching us today, please share our video. Please share our broadcast. We come just to encourage and just to lift you up in this hour that we're going through of this pandemic. And I want to tell you that you, if you are here during this season, you are here for the greatest purpose of your life. Because I guarantee you, if you come through this, if you survive corona, then you will survive anything. But it's only by the help of the Lord that you will come through. I want to give a shout out to my baby son, Avis Williams. He is, uh, today is his birthday. He's 19 years old. And uh, I want to give a shout out to him. Also, I want to remind you, if you have not uh, sent your donations over, you may cash app them to us here at the ship at... Uh, at uh, Cash Sign Second Friendship uh, MBC, and uh, we will appreciate it. We thank you, thankful for all your tithes, your offerings, your donations, or whatever you may send over. And I want you to know we are praying for you. And I don't know about y'all, I really, really miss church. And I know I, I, I've been at the house, I've been quarantined, I, I, get, I don't get out much, but I really miss church. We're praying for all of you. We're praying for our sister church and Pastor Charles Levy and the Family Missionary Baptist Church. We have to be helpers one to another. We're praying for them. We're praying also for our other sister church, the St. Luke Baptist Church, Pastor, our friend and brother, Pastor Orlando Goodman. So I want, I want, I want to share a word with you today and uh, in, in, the, in the times like these and in the days to come. One of the, uh, I think one of the most tragic things that we face after going through something like this is not being able to identify, really, really seeing and having a relationship with the Lord. Because I'll tell you, God has put us in a position where all of our relationships have been tested to see if we are really connected with God. I tell you, when things were going good, we were quoting the scriptures, uh, uh, a weeping may endure for a night and joy come up in the morning. We were practicing for these kind of situations. But now this situation of weeping has actually come. Who are you gonna depend on? Who are you gonna run to? Who are you gonna look for? You know, we're, we're, we're facing things that we never have faced before. So we must depend on God. We can't get help from the government. You know, we've been waiting, people waiting on stimulus checks. Uh, don't put your hope and faith in it. I believe they will come. But put your faith and hope in the Lord. The Lord resources never will run out. Some of us will get our stimulus checks if we qualify and we'll be broke before the day is over. We'll be broke. We'll, you know, and I, I'm not against it. I love nice things. I have one myself. We'll, we'll be, we'll have an iPhone. We'll buy, go out and buy iPhones. We'll go out and buy Jordan shoes. But we'll forget about buying the necessities of survival and paying our bills, like food, like uh, uh, paying our water. I mean, our lights, our gas, our mortgage, and also pick up a book while we're out while you're out or get online and learn how to invest. Uh, but we go back, I can't see myself. But learn how to invest your money and, and make your money work for you. Amen. So today, I want to make sure, I want, I want to read this to you and I'm going to elaborate on it. It's from Isaiah chapter number six. Very familiar passage of scripture, very familiar story to anyone that's been in the uh, Christian from any amount of time. Isaiah uh, chapter number six. And uh, 
I take my hat off to all the pastors and ministries that are here on Facebook and whatever social media outlet they're using. We, uh, we salute you and we're, we're, we're with you 100%. And uh, Isaiah chapter number six and verse one says, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne high and lifted up and his train filled the temple. And it says above it stood the seraphims, each one having six wings. With twain he covered his face and with twain, two wings he covered his feet and with twain, meaning two, he did fly. And another one and, and it says, and one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried. And the house was filled with smoke. And said I, woe is me, this is Isaiah, for I am undone because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of people of unclean lips. For mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. And then flew one of the seraphims and unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken from the, with the tongs from the, from off the altar, excuse me. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this have touched thy lips and thine iniquity is taken away and thy sins, and thy sin is purged. And also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then said I, here am I, send me. And I and I want I want I want I want to talk there and, and what I want to lift. I have preached this many a times, but there's a different subject I want to lift today. In the midst of all of this, hear me, hear me here. Does the Lord have your full attention? That's what I want to talk about today. Does the Lord have your full attention? Why don't you ask yourself that question wherever you're at right now. Does the Lord have my full, uh, does, does the Lord have my full attention? And, and I say that because the Lord has been trying to get our attention for years. Uh, I believe everything that transpires, he allows it to transpire. I, I remember, you remember, uh, back here just a few years ago when the uh, housing market had collapsed and we were entering, entering into a recession. Uh, the Lord then, he was trying to get our attention. He had part of our attention or some of our attentions, but he did not have all our attention. Uh, you remember a few years ago, Rita and Katrina, massive hurricanes that hit uh, the state of New Orleans and the southern regions of the United States of America. Uh, he was trying to get our attention, but he just got some of our attention. He, he did not get our full attention. We have, we have had hurricanes. We have had earthquakes. We have had all kind of plagues and diseases that have been saturated or isolated to certain parts of the United States and the world globally. But never, or there has been, it has been a long time since we've seen one uh, 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 episode, chaotic episode, affect the whole world. And I want to ask you the question right now through here. Does the Lord have your full attention? Or do you still have your attention on the government? Do you still have part of your attention on your friends? Do you still have part of your intentions on your bank account? Does the Lord have your full attention? 
And here, Isaiah chapter number six, uh, Isaiah, Isaiah is here and he says here, in the year that King Uzziah died, he said, I saw also the Lord. And what he said is, I know I've seen the Lord. I can testify to tell you I know I've seen him because I've seen him. It was in the same year that Uzziah died. And that's something, my brothers and sisters, that nobody should be able to take away from you. You shouldn't have to speculate. You shouldn't have to guess whether you have seen the Lord. You should know for sure that you have seen the Lord. And Isaiah says here, the reason I know I've seen him because when I saw him, he was high and he was lifted up. He was high and he was lifted up, and, and, and meaning that he had to look up so that he looked up and, 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 and what he saw had all his full attention. He said he was high and he was lifted up and his train, his spirit, the train of his spirit filled the whole temple. And, what I want, and I want to tell you today that in order to know the Lord in his fullness, you must have had an experience that no one can take away from you. Remember Paul, when he was on the Damascus Road, he, he, he was knocked down and blinded for three days. No one, and when Paul got up the first thing, he said, Lord, Lord, what will thou have me to do? And I'll tell you, I don't care what naysayer come or what new group come, you need to make sure without a shadow of doubt that I know that I know the Lord. You remember the, the senior saints or the old saints, they used to testify and said, I went to a meeting one night and my heart wasn't right, but something got a hold to me. And look, I'm almost done here. And so does the Lord have your full attention? Then he goes on to describe, he said, uh, the reason I know because above him stood seraphims, each one having six wings with two wings. Uh, imagine as they covered their face and with two wings, they covered their feet and with two wings, they did fly. I, I, I want you to know without a shadow of doubt, we need to have a testimony that I truly know who the Lord is and he has my full attention. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not talking about, uh, 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 and, 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 I, and I'll tell you, this is how you can make it. You can make it without coming to the physical church when the Lord has your full attention. You can make it without being in the midst of other, of other Christians. I love it, and I miss church, y'all, and I can't wait to church come out, come back. I done developed me a new shout, y'all. But, but I'm saying, you know you can make it. And Isaiah says here, the reason I know I've seen him, because he had his own personal praise team. And, 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 and because the reason I know they was personal, because one cried, holy, holy, holy. They were worshiping and praising God. So I say that to say this, that when you do get in God's presence, you don't have to have, you shouldn't have to have to nobody to beg you to say amen. You shouldn't have to tell nobody, to, nobody shouldn't have to tell you to clap your hands or give me a J, give me a E, give me a S, give me a U. You should automatic, when you get in his presence, and I'm telling you, you don't have to get at church. You can be at Kroger's, you can be at Myers. You could be riding in your car. Anybody ever had to pull over to the side of the road before and say, Lord, something just happened. I just want to give you some praise and honor right now. Didn't have no praise team there. The musicians wasn't there. Reverend Williams wasn't there to, destruct, to instruct me to give him a J, give him an E, give him an S, give him a U, give him an S. But I got off by myself and I throwed up my hands and all our hands are not holy, y'all. I threw up what I had. I offered it to God and said, Lord, I'm giving you all the praise, honor, and worship. I'm giving you all what you do, and I'm doing it sincerely from my heart. And here it is. He said the, the, the Lord had his own. Isaiah noticed that the Lord had his own personal praise team. And it says that with two wings, they covered their face. And with two wings, they covered their feet. 
and with two wings they did fly. And I always wondered why would the Lord's personal praise team had six wings? And how many know every, everything that God made, the way he made it, or everything that it has is for a purpose? And the reason why it had it, the Lord showed me the reason why that he that he had it for a purpose. Somebody trying to call me that that uh, I, uh, uh, the reason why he had it for a purpose is that uh, when the Lord was in his full uh, 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 posture after praise, when he was in his radiant glory, uh, 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 that lets me know that, you know, the Bible talks about no man has seen God at any time. So God developed them two wings so they can cover their face because they could not look upon God when he was in his full glory. So when God was in his full glory, they covered their face. And then, it said, and then I said, why did they have two wings to cover their feet? Because how many know when we come in God's presence that we got to be careful how we position our feet. Remember when he told Moses in, in, in the desert, he, after Moses discovered that burning bush and Moses got clear and got close to it, he kept looking at it, the bush would not consume. And he told Moses, take off your shoes for the ground that you stand on is holy ground. And so what I'm trying to tell you, he, uh, Isaiah is saying here that I know I saw him because he had my full attention. And listen here, when the Lord has your full attention, guess what will happen? He, when he has your full attention, then there will be full compliance. There will be full compliance for he said here in verse 5, Then said I, woe is me, for I am undone because I am a man of unclean lips. Meaning that Isaiah conversation and his articulation wasn't the best, but how many know of us that we that we we were in the same position that Isaiah was in? We we had unclean lips, and we we we, we said some things we shouldn't have been saying. We still do sometimes. And Isaiah says, "Warn to me, I'm a man of unclean lips, and not only are my lips unclean, I dwell my, the crew or the posse I hang with, their lips are unclean too." I come to tell you today, I, I said this before in a sermon, that you've got to be careful who you do wrong with because the person you're doing wrong with may get saved and want to testify. Man. Oh, y'all don't hear me today. But he said, he told on his crew, he said, I, I dwell in the midst of people and they also have unclean lips. But how many know, I'm glad, I'm getting on out of here. Even though Isaiah had flaws, even though his communication, his articulation was unclean, he still was a prime candidate for the Lord to use because the Lord had his full attention. I want to encourage somebody right now in the midst of this pandemic, you, 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 you have, may have not been doing much for the Lord, but I want you, while you're in this downtime of organized church, to seek the Lord, to read, to pray, to truly find out what he wants you to do. And I'm going to rephrase that because we, how many know you don't have to really seek what God, God has been telling you, you just have not surrendered. God wants you to, God wants to have your full attention. Why does he need our full attention? He needs our full attention because the world needs God. And the only, only way we're going to take the Lord to, to the people is that he has our full attention. This is why I believe the Lord has shut our church down for a while because he wanted the church to come out of the buildings and go out into the highways and the hedges. I know we have parameters, we have restrictions going on, but I wanna encourage somebody while we down to just make some tracks, to make some cards. 
and just distribute them. Put them, put them, hang them up on the poles in your neighborhood. Hang them up. Go down to the grocery store. Put them on the bulletin board. Uh, 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 start you a Facebook Live. And when you start it, don't get on to magnify yourself, but get on to magnify God. Because we, we have enough of us trying to magnify ourselves. Guess what? I may be pastoring, but I can't save nobody. Right. I can't, I cannot, I cannot, all I can tell you is about somebody who can save anybody. Yes. When I came up, they sung a song that said, I know a man yes. from Galilee. And if I was on Sunday and I, I was feeling good, I would get out of here right then. If you are in sin, that he will set you free. And so that's what I want to tell you today. He says here, and he said, and, and, and I'm leaving with this. And he says, and, and he and he said, I am a, I am undone because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of people with unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. And then after this, he had full compliance. And he says here in verse eight, also I heard the voice of the Lord saying. And I, I, that, that, that song always resonates in my heart. Uh, 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 the song that says, I came to Jesus yeah. just as I was. Yes, Weary, wound, wounded in sand, but I found in him a resting place. And he has made me glad. I heard a voice of Jesus saying, come unto me and rest. Lay down thy weary one, lay down thy head upon thy breast. Uh, and, and here it is. Here it is. And he laid upon me my mouth. And I'm sorry, verse 8. Also I heard a voice saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Now he has his full attention, so he brings about his full compliance. Then said I, Here am I. Send me. I will go. And I want to tell you today, does the Lord have your full attention? Does he have part of your attention? Do you do what you want to do when you want to do it? Does the Lord have your full attention? I want to pray for you today. If you have any special prayer, uh, prayer requests, you can always inbox me or you can always in, uh, put them on our church page, the Second Friendship Missionary Baptist Church. I'm going to pray right now. I'm going to pray that you allow this season you allow the Lord to have your full attention. You allow him to have your full attention. Here we go. Father God, in the name of Jesus, yes, God. we come before you right now yes, God. on this Resurrection Sunday morning. Thanking you, Master, for everything that you have done. In fact, one writer said, everything that happened to me that was good, God did it. We ask right now, Master, that you Open up our minds. Allow us to look past the veil of confusion that, 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 that you may have our full, full attention, Master, that we may do your will. Because I don't care how we pray. If we pray uh, not according to your will, you won't hear us, Master. But let us line up with your will, your way, and your ministry, Master. We ask that you touch the bereaved families right now, wherever they may be, Master, that have suffered bereavement of, by way of death through this ordeal that we're going through. And not only do we pray for corona uh, 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 patients or corona uh, 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 families that have been affected, we pray for people. There are still regular conditions that need to be healed, Master. Heart trouble, cancer, high blood pressure, diabetes, Master, uh, confused mind, messed up spirit. We pray for them right now. We pray for all, all people everywhere that's serving you in the body of Christ right now. We pray a special prayer on everyone that's a member of Second Friendship Missionary Baptist Church that you keep them safe, Master, that you keep your arms around them. We pray for the members and Pastor Family Baptist. We lift them right now. We pray for the members and pastor of St. Luke Baptist, our two sister churches, Master. Touch right now. Touch uh, Reverend Jones, Master. 
and, and just all of our kindred, our family, those we know who to call and those that we don't call, that we should call, touch right now, Master. And until we meet, until we are able to come together, Master, you be with us. You lead us and you guide us. We give your name all the praise, honor, and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Touch somebody and tell them that if you missed it, tell them the hour of unity. You can play the music. The hour of unity is on the air. And we'll see you next week. God bless you real good.